Hello guys, Balubish here. So I uploaded a video today um, and a guy commented in like first hour after I uploaded it and kind of pointed out the settings for the AMD uh, Ryzen and Vega graphics card and I, my video was a comparison to that yeah, just to show you guys uh, the performance difference and so we, I have to do a new video and this is the one so what I failed to add was yeah. so everything is on max and Vulcan and ultra nightmare and nightmare on that blah 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 and this only goes to high and what I failed was I didn't use TSAA eight times I had it off so now I have that on and now we can continue with the testing basically so I'm gonna play for a little while here not, not too long just so we have a comparison to Vega and Intel and NVIDIA GTX 1080 comparing it legs And I'm dead. So yeah, it acts kind of struggles. Um, so just to compare it right, let's jump in, restart the game and... Um, Kaden, welcome back guys. We are now in, uh, in OpenGL settings. Advanced, OpenGL 4.5, Ultra, 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 high on that one, still. Nightmare, Ultra, 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 Nightmare. And TSA 8 times and 4K. What else do you need? So let's play some OpenGL Super So if you haven't known already, say that it's kind of pro Vulcan. Maybe because it's the mantle in the bottom of it. And it's only a few minutes. No problem. I bet that. Yeah, they 
you're te testing this weapon on uh, the demo, right? But when it comes to 4K and um, Vulcan and OpenGL with NVIDIA, it's really, really weird actually. It basically doesn't matter at this resolution. Vulcan ha helps at low resolution like 1080 works perfectly with that and 1440p helps a bit but for that AMD parts they, they work much better but yeah this is just to show you guys the difference so after this I will show you the CES part of uh, the video to give you a hint on how video game coding works it's so similar but yeah they they are competing now what what i wonder is what the cpu and what the graphics card the vega card is going to cost that they are using and i want to see more benchmarks from other games i don't want to see doom but amd have done that before uh, like Ashes of Singularity because it's more demanding in um, calculations and not the graphics intensity of the game and that's why AMD is better because they have more cores in those areas but I want to see like Battlefield uh, without Mantle that is Grand Theft Auto 5 and Witcher 3 like those games so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys next time just to give you a hint I'm not exactly at the same place in the game but I'm a, uh, at a similar scene time in the game basically so here we go So as you can see, when action happens, it drops below 60 frames per second, and that is when big explosions and stuff happening. And that happens with every GPU, basically. But I gotta say, it's really impressive uh, at 4K. So it can actually compete with the media, and 480 did not. Sure, it's a good car, but okay, no, I'm okay. Uh, you need more power to basically run that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. See you guys next time.